<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Live at Four on this Wednesday. Charlotte's in today. We've got a bunch of new monitors. I know. It's like it's a Wish stadium. You could see this. It's a lot. It's a. Little, it is a lot. A little in too here. much. Anyway, busy show today. We're going to talk talk turkey prices coming up. Okay. We're getting hungry. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's it's getting close. Already, Next right? week, right. Mm -hmm. But first at four, the saga of a of building a new county jail in Dane County takes a turn. What happens now? The United Nations meets in New York to discuss a new resolution calling for pauses in the fighting in Gaza. I'm Naomi Ruckham with the latest in the conflict amid clashes at Gaza's largest hospital. And big changes are coming for transit riders in Beloit. It's a new way to pay. Let's take a look outside this weather. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. It's just unbelievable. It's really, it's picture perfect for middle of November. It's picture perfect for the middle of September. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Mm -hmm. Enjoy tomorrow one more day. Alex Harrington's in the backyard. Boy, keep them coming if you can. Yeah, I wish I could. You, you folks know I'm the perpetual optimist. And I'll try to find it somewhere in the forecast. But yeah, enjoy your Thursday. 60 degree weather. It's 60 is out there right now. Look at that. 61 in Madison. 65 at this time in November. Right now in Middleton, 65. Our friends to south and west in Verona. So just a campy beat across southern Wisconsin. Beautiful out here. I was on the way out and I thought, oh, I forgot my coat. And well, I'm not going to need that jacket out there, folks, because again, temperatures are so nice out there. Let's take a look across the rest of southern Wisconsin. We got 65 in Lone Rock, 65 in Boscobel. Friends to the north are sitting at 64 and down to the south in Monroe, a chilly if you will. I'm being sarcastic here. 60 degrees in Monroe. But as we plan your night tonight, low temperatures will be around midnight, 42 in Madison, maybe as warm as near 50 degrees in Baraboo. And we'll see those temperatures inch up a little bit as we head towards your Thursday. And enjoy your Thursday with high temperatures, 64 in Madison, 64 to the north. That seems to be kind of a popular number, 63, 64, although friends up towards La Crosse might sneak a 66 degrees. Look at Thursday, kind of sticks out there. Temperatures go back to reality. You folks know I like to bring up Grandma Harrington. It, it is what it is. Normal temperatures for this time of year are in the 40s. As we head towards Turkey Day, as we head out towards next week, the temperatures go below normal. Might be wondering, will we be having some precipitation with that? We'll talk more about that coming up in Maine weather. Hey, if you have an internet browser in front of you right now or on your phone, you can go to channel3000.com. Go to the weather page, scroll on down, and click the post your photo button. Button. That's how you can get viewer photos easy to send to us for us to look at those and get them on air. And coming up in Maine weather, we'll look at some viewer photos of these pretty scenes that we have going on out here. We'll talk about when snowflakes enter the forecast with the cold temperatures. That's all coming up. I'm sure it is. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> well, plans to replace the aging Dane County Jail are on hold again after the latest construction bid for the project came in well over budget. And well, that leaves county leadership working to find a solution to keep the project on track. Our Braden Ross touched base with some of them today to see what's next for this project. She joins us live at the building at the center of all of this with more of the story. Braden? Yeah, right now the jail portion of the city county building behind me here houses 200 people, but they're in conditions that Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett has repeatedly said are borderline unconstitutional. And now the plans to replace that jail have faced another setback. Rising construction costs have put the project to replace this building over budget several times now. But back in April, Sheriff Barrett and the Dane County Board finally reached a deal to keep the project moving forward. And just last week, they approved almost $160 million in the latest county budget for both construction and logistical costs of building a new jail. But over the but the only bid that came in to build that jail again is over budget again, this time by almost $30 million. So where does that leave the project? Obviously, uh, money is always going to be uh, a hot topic, especially when you're talking about that amount of money. But again, we really need to focus on the, the humanity and the dignity and, and respect part of it. Obviously, the costs are important and we have to take that into consideration. But, but at what price do we put on humanity and dignity and respect? Well, there are a few options. The county board could approve the extra funding needed to keep with the current plan. They could start from scratch and come up with a new one or some mixture of the two. But either way, Sheriff Barrett tells me this has to happen soon to keep the building, the people that are living in this building right now, safe. For now, reporting in Madison, Braden Ross for News 3 Now. 
Officials are looking for a missing 12-year-old who hasn't been seen for more than a week. Danielle Noble was last seen in Madison on Tuesday. She is described as being 5 feet tall and weighs 156 pounds. She has brown hair, brown eyes rather, and black hair. They say she may be traveling out of state. In Beloit, the city's transit system is preparing for some for preparing for some major upgrades for riders. It'll only be the third place in Wisconsin to implement a mobile system for bus riders and other local commuters. Rock County reporter Maddie Heimsch joins us now to explain how it'll all work. Maddie. Yeah, transit officials in Beloit told me they wanted to get ahead of the curve in using technology to help make public transportation easier. They think the WISGO system is the solution. Beloit Transit will launch the app in spring of next year. It will allow customers to pay cashless, track their buses, plan their routes, and view their travel history. Only Milwaukee and Waukesha counties have utilized the system so far. Transit operations manager Don Driscoll told me he saw how well the app worked there and wanted to replicate it for people in Beloit. After reading through and understanding the Wisco app and what they have to offer. We were very excited about getting on board and being on the front side of this versus, you know, falling behind and old technology. Right now, Beloit bus riders can only pay their fares with cash or paper tickets. Paying with paper will still be an option for those who prefer it, but people using the app can load funds ahead of time with Apple Pay, Google Pay, or a credit card. According to the Milwaukee County Transit System, several transit agencies across the state are looking to follow Beloit's decision. Coming up a little later at 5, we'll share what Beloit bus drivers think of the plan. Well, there is hope for progress today as President Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping meet in San Francisco at the Asia Pacific Economic Corp uh, Corporation Summit. The two leaders opened their first face-to-face -face meeting in more than a year with a solid handshake. They both stressed communication and Z said planet Earth is big enough for both countries to succeed. The two leaders stressed the importance of their relationship as global superpowers. Biden says a major priority in his meeting with China's president is getting communications back on track. I value our conversation because I think it's paramount that you and I understand each other clearly leader to leader with no misconceptions or miscommunication. Military communications channels have been cut off since August of last year following Representative Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan when she was Speaker of the House. In addition to China's military aggression in the Indo-Pacific, the Biden administration says other big topics will include artificial intelligence and cracking down on fentanyl trafficking. Demonstrators took to the streets in San Francisco to protest the ongoing Asian Pacific Economic Corpor Cooperation Summit before the meeting. China and the U.S., the world's two largest polluters, agreed to work together to triple renewable energy capacity by 2030. The Biden Z meeting is expected to last several hours, and they will hold a joint news conference around 630, and you can watch that here on Channel 3000. Israel says its defense forces found weapons during a raid into Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza. Meanwhile, the U.N. Security Council votes on a resolution resolution calling for humanitarian pauses in the fighting. Naomi Ruckham reports. The Hamas-controlled Ministry of Health released video of medics trying to evacuate patients from Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital ahead of Israeli troops entering the facility. The head of the World Health Organization calling Israel's incursion totally unacceptable. Hospitals are not battlegrounds. We're extremely worried for the safety of staff and patients. Israel Defense Forces released footage of what the army says are soldiers operating near the hospital. A senior Israeli defense official says IDF soldiers found weapons and concrete evidence Hamas is using the medical facility as a command center. When we entered the hospital, there was a small engagement with, uh, with gunmen, with Hamas gunmen. There was no patients harmed. We're not uh, capturing the hospital or overtaking the hospital. Thousands of patients and civilians are still believed to be inside the sprawling complex. The developments at Al-Shifa Hospital come as the United Nations Security Council passed a resolution calling for urgent humanitarian pauses in the fighting as well as the immediate and unconditional release of the hostages taken by Hamas. Families of the roughly 240 hostages began a protest march from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, 
urging the international community to help their loved ones. Put the pressure over the UN, over the Red Cross, to take care of our captives that are that are that are wounded. Most of the families have not received any word about their relatives since the attacks. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, the United Nations. And diplomats tell CBS News the United States, Russia and the United Kingdom will likely abstain but not veto the Security Council resolution. A new study from the UW Madison School of Medicine and Public Health finds a possible connection between past military service and Alzheimer's disease. The research found that the donated brains of men who are veterans had a 26% greater chance of holding hallmark signs of the disease than men who did not serve in the military. This study is the first to make the connection and UW says it is still researching why it exists. You can imagine that there's stuff going on during the military service itself but then also exposures are, or, or differences in life before and after service that are likely contributing to risk. So we really need to think about teasing out the specific pathways that lead to the greatest risks. As for what's next, researchers say partnering with other Alzheimer's research centers will be a key step in further findings, especially when it comes to female veterans. The Madison Common Council voted to pass the 2024 city budget 18 to 2 around midnight this morning. The budget raises property taxes by just less than 4%, while mandating that all departments cut their budgets by 1%. As the cost of running Madison goes up, the city is running short on options to raise money. News 3 Now's Chris Stanford talked to the mayor about the financial challenges the city faces as she pushes a progressive agenda forward. Critics in the right-wing media slam the city for defunding police. What would you say to someone who sees the headline of a 1% reduction in departments, you know, this reduction in spending for public safety? What would we have to say? They should people? come and actually look at our budget. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a really good talking point for the right wing, um, but it's completely non-factual. We haven't reduced our commissioned force. We have only asked uh, police to take the cuts that every other department has taken. If you actually look at pure dollar figures, the police budget has gone up every year. People at home are going to hear that you're trying to make cuts across the board of 1%. In the meantime, they're looking at their property tax bill and say, wait, 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 my property is assessing for a heck of a lot more than it did a yeah. few years ago. I'm paying more on property taxes. Why on earth are we having to make cuts? Yeah. So what would you say to those people? Well, we're making cuts so that your property taxes don't go up even more. Uh, I mean, that's really the bottom line. Um, you know, between that and the fact that the legislature literally restricts both how much we can spend and how much we can raise property taxes. We, we can't raise property taxes more than we are. And yet, the cost to just keep doing what we did last year is going up more than we're able to pay for next year. The holiday season is quickly approaching, and with the holidays comes the busiest season for local food pantries. Dane County leaders were out showing their support for those pantries today. County Executive Joe Parisi announced an additional $1.7 million of funding going to Second Harvest Food Bank, bringing the total to over $6 million this year that they will use to address local food insecurity. We can't stress enough the challenges that our neighbors are experiencing right now. And we need to be there to help folks. We have some of the folks with us, our folks who work at the pantries, who work at Second Harvest, who see this every day and who work hard every day. The funds will be distributed by Second Harvest to local food pantries, farmers, and producers throughout Dane County. And we note the passage today of one of the members of the WISC TV family. Kathy Wood started at Channel 3 in the late 1970s as an anchor, first for the Farm Hour. A few years later, that became Midday. She started her television career as host of Romper Room in Peoria before moving to Madison. She retired from Channel 3 in 1991 after 14 years at the station. She recently wrote to former news director Tom Beer that people still recognize her from her television days. We will miss her smile and her energy. Kathy Wood was 81 years old. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. 
Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy to install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarquette Harbor Village Sheet Vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. My favorite thing about the Power Swabs is that I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I felt like I, I can immediately see the results and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely starting to see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the Power Swabs 5-Minute Solution. Well, they're whiter, they're brighter, and I feel better about my smile. And it was so easy to do. One friend was like, did you, your teeth look like really white. Did you, did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did Power Swabs. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This Thanksgiving, order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com. Com today. I volunteer because it's, I think, the right thing to do, and um, selfishly, yeah, I, I get a lot of joy from doing it. It's a joy that comes from taking people to where they need to go. Just watch yourself coming out. You can't bottle it, you can't buy it. That only comes from volunteerism. When people really need to get to those medical appointments and they don't have any other means, I, I just look at it as kind of like the least I can do to try to help out. Welcome back this Saturday. Camp Randall Stadium will be rocking 80,000 plus screaming fans cheering on Wisconsin. The Badgers will welcome the Corn Huskers of Nebraska for the final home game of the 2023 season. The Badgers are looking to snap a three game skid here, but if it's bound to happen, they face a team who they've dominated in the last decade. Currently 9-1 and one in the last 10 matchups against the Cornhuskers. And the last time Wisconsin lost to Nebraska in Madison was way back in 1966. Braden Locke doesn't see a better way to send out the seniors than with a win on their home turf. You know, in a night game like we're going to get to do on Saturday night, um, and there's no better way to, to kind of cap off those memories than to, to go win, you know, against Nebraska and do it the right way for those guys. The game will be on NBC on Saturday, and if you would like to check out the full Wisconsin huddle that airs every Friday just after News 3 Now at 6, or if you want to be a part of the Wisconsin huddle, the taping is every Monday at Buck and Honey's in Monona at 6 o'clock. Well, Amazon has announced its list of the best books of 2023 just in time for the start of the holiday shopping season. Coming in at number one, James McBride's novel, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. Followed by The Berry Pickers by Amanda Peters. The Art Thief, a true story of love, crime, and a dangerous obsession by Michael Finkel. And Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. The Martin Luther King Jr. biography, King, A Life by Jonathan Eag, rounds out the top five. We put together a list every month of the best books of the month, and at the end of the year, we look at all 12 lists, we say, have we missed anything? And then we literally lock ourselves in a room for the day, and we duke it out over the top 100 books. These books are not, they're not based on bestsellers, not based on customer reviews, and they're not chosen by algorithms, they're chosen by human beings. 
Something Someday by poet and bestseller author Amanda Gorham also made the list. The children's book is about how anyone can change the world no matter how big or small they are. Stocks continue their rally on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials added 163 points. The Nasdaq tacked on 9.5. The S&P 500 was up 7. Do you ever wonder what your zodiac sign smells like? That is not a question <laughs> often asked. No, it's not. <laughs> but Brady Mallory has the answer. Oh boy, I do. And I'm not going to be charting your horoscope, don't worry. <laughs> so whether you're a Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, or more, you actually have a scent. A local woman has turned this idea into a growing perfume business, and she has a scientific approach to show you what your sign represents. It's hard for Christy Moe to bottle up her excitement about a good fragrance. So I've always loved perfume my entire life. Which led to her own business that runs like a well, nicely scented, oiled machine. So what am I going to be smelling? It's meant to feel like a spring garden in bloom. It's just really beautiful. Mo runs Zotica Perfumery from this Madison warehouse. She and her team mix scents, package them. So this one is Aquarius. She even goes live on online to sell the products, kind of like QVC. She doesn't have her own shop anymore. But Zotica is in 600 stores nationwide. So Scorpio has an intensity to it. Pretty good for a business <laughs> that started out as a headache, literally. I've really had a difficult experience with finding a perfume that wouldn't give me a migraine or a headache. That's why she created Zotica Perfumery in 2016. It's a line of organic fragrances she says doesn't make her sick. There's also a twist. Each scent is designed for a zodiac sign. What's your scent? Taurus. What do you like about that? Um, you know, I don't know the science behind it. <laughs> I just really like it. If you think Mo uses a crystal ball or consults the bones to make her perfume, well, think again. Based on my formulas? It turns out it takes quite a bit of science to harness the cosmic energy of astrology. It's all based on that data and those scientific studies that, that I did. So they're not random scents. It's not me just saying, oh, a Taurus should smell like this, a Libra should smell like this. Mo spent three years studying the science behind smell and why we like what we like. So very, Through her research and blind scent people. studies with people, um, she we're, noticed we're their scent really preferences. Gain. You can see who it vibes well with. Lined up with the time of year they were born, AKA, their zodiac sign. They just had to rank them in order of preference and tell me when they were born. When I got the data back, I could actually see patterns were happening. So Libras were liking a certain kind of scent profile that was different than a Scorpio. And I'm like, okay, I'm onto something here. Aston says she was a little skeptical at first, but now. She's kind of your scent guru. She is my scent guru, yeah. As for the future, Mo doesn't need to consult her horoscope. She has big plans that include going international. For now, though, she's enjoying the sweet smell of success. <laughs> Headache free. So we're a perfume company, but we're really in the business of creating connection. I'm very passionate about having people connect not only to like themselves, to each other, but also to something greater, to something that's in the universe, that's undescribable, that's unknown. And before all this, Moe used to have her own store in Monroe, Wisconsin. But she says her current business model is working really well for her, and she has much more to come. Okay, so, we want this, details. This, this guy sat down and said, what smells so good? Yeah. Wow. And, Thank you. And it's you. I right, showered <laughs> today, so. I'm a Pisces. Okay, so mm -hmm. these are the descriptors from her website to give you an idea of what your scent is. So a Pisces embraces with peaceful fluidity, fresh and clean, like the ocean home of this water sign. Its icy coolness reflects its winter signs. So it sounds like you're very fresh and clean, Mark. Yes, you are. Okay, <laughs> now Aries. Okay. The Ram. And according to the website, mm -hmm. again, energetically awakens with fiery cinnamon. Oh, that's so her. A fire cinnamon. sign evokes a life force energy with a burst of warmth and strong woods. Uh, apparently, you are unstoppable and powerful, Charlotte. Oh. That, uh, this all makes sense to me. Wow, that, that's I like very accurate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the, the Taurus scent that I mm -hmm. smelled, I really liked. It was fresh, clean clean, a, some springtime florals, but then a woodsy smell in there. So I love the so you're woodsy, idea I'm, of I'm fresh and you're fiery. fiery.
So here we go. How about this trio, folks? <laughs> we are quite the combo. Please, Brady, tip, please tip your waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for smelling me. lovely yes, for everybody. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Still to come at four. Talk about a pencil pusher. Well, this man collected so many pencils, he broke a world record. How many pencils? We'll find out after Alex's first born forecast. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what you need when you've been in a serious truck accident. Call Gruber Law Offices. We've successfully helped people injured by big trucks for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. It hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection, unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and a free fitness membership at more than 20,000 locations. Call 1-866-249-1748 now to request your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-866-249-1748. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. McCann Furniture is closing its doors. The owners are retiring. It's the final weeks of our going out of business sale. Everything in the store must be sold. Store-wide markdowns up to 47%. Plus, we're taking reasonable offers on everything. Make us an offer on quality name brand furniture, including Amish, dining room sets, bedroom sets, recliners, upholstery, and mattresses. Free financing, special sale hours. Hurry in today to the final week's going out of business sale at McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. You'll be glad you did. Congratulations to Madison Magazine for earning nine awards in the Milwaukee Press Club Excellence in Wisconsin Journalism Competition, including top honors for best single story or feature design and best feature photograph. Get handy with a little help from Madison Magazine. Learn dozens of fix-it tips and where to turn when the job calls for a pro. And meet five amazing entrepreneurs honored with this year's Amy Awards. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. A truck crash can be life-changing. If you've been injured, call Gruber Law Offices. We have a powerful team with the knowledge, resources, and history of results you'll need. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. We'll take a look at this. This message in a bottle sent adrift in Sandwich, Massachusetts in 1987 contained a note from then 8th grader Ben Lyons. The science project included strict instructions. Anyone who found the bottle had to fill out the form inside and return it. Fast forward a quarter century, a French fisherman com combing the beach for garbage picked up the bottle, found the message. He decided to respond. He wrote back in French and included oh. a photo of himself and shipped it off back to the school. Oak Ridge school staff and students are so elated with the story, they plan to display the letter. That is so cool. All the way. It's called current. Right, right, right around the time before email started, right? <laughs> <laughs> 1997, right. Message in a bottle. Email might be a touch faster these days. All right, just enjoy this weather. It's unbelievable. One more day, one more day. Maybe we'll warm up again in mm -hmm. December. Not out of the realm of possibility, but yeah. Right. 60s tomorrow. When do we turn to the 30s? That's coming up. When an inexperienced Whole Foods driver tipped his truck over while pulling off the interstate to take a break, a bus carrying a high school band ran into the overturned semi. The crash killed five people and injured dozens of others. Two of the victims' families hired Habish, Habish, and Rotier. The settlements they received totaled over four and a half million dollars. And the skill expended by the Habish team is head and shoulders above one phone call and a quick settlement. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. 
Precision is very proud of our five-star reviews. I do everything I can to go above and beyond for repairs. <laughs> no, I'm not an actor. I'm a garage door tech. That's what I do here at Precision. Precision door service, a name you can trust. Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present The Greatest Piano Man, celebrating the world's greatest pianists and showmen, including Elton John, Billy Joel, Stevie Wonder, Liberace, and more. One night only, Saturday, November 18th. Tickets available online now. The new Tea Box Event and Dining Room with Private Bar is there waiting for you at Vitense Golfland. Two large HD TVs are available for viewing, meetings, and casual gatherings. Private Bar is available for any type of event. No meeting can compare with adding activities of Vitense Golfland. Enjoy indoor outdoor miniature golf, golf suites, and golf and multi sport simulators. Add chocolate shop ice cream. As our sign says, ice cream solves everything. Infuse life and fun into your meetings and events at Vitense Golfland. And here's your weather for this holiday weekend. Holiday weekend. There's a high pressure system coming from the north. I'm not even shopping yet, though. What am I gonna do? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Make it easy on yourself. <laughs> holiday scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery are here, with prices ranging from one to twenty dollars and top prizes up to one hundred thousand dollars. With so many games to choose from, it's easy to find gifts for everyone at your local lottery retailer. How do you like that? Join the media sales team at Television Wisconsin and be part of something bigger. If you're passionate about helping local businesses succeed, apply today at channel3000.com. We're not just hiring, we're building careers. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. News 3 Now This Morning, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hey there, folks. Let's start off with those three things that you need to know. The Cliff Notes version of the forecast, as I like to say here. We'll sport the yellow glasses for one more day. One more. Well, as we see temperatures in the lower to middle 60s as we go on for the rest of today, it's still right around 60 degrees outside. And as we go on into your Thursday, then temperatures will start to take a tumble behind a cold front on your Friday. We'll have to swap out to blue glasses then below normal as we head out towards Thanksgiving. Here's the good stuff out there. Temperatures right around 60 degrees in Middleton, 61 in Madison, 61 in Oregon. We're still hanging on in the Wisconsin River Valley, 64 degrees in the Wisconsin River Valley. Beautiful, beautiful temperatures out there. We got 65 in Lone Rock and in Boscobel, 64 to the north in Camp Douglas, 58 to the south in Monroe. Temperatures this this time of year, they should be in the middle 40s, folks, not the low to middle 60s. 20 degrees above normal. Temperatures tonight will dip down to about 42, and then they may start to climb a little bit as one more reinforcing shot of warmer air moves in as we head towards your Thursday with temperatures low middle 60s. Middle 60s might be the popular number across the area. I'll take that. Temperatures as we move into the wee hours of your morning, I point this out here, 42. Watch where they go overnight, 42, 45. By the time we get to 6.30 in the morning, they have gone up a little bit. Middle 40s, the wind's coming out of the south, and that's that trade-off that you get during the fall time. The windy conditions usually bring in the warm air, but they can also bring in the cold air. We've got that in the forecast, too. Again, mid-60s for our temperatures. As we carry on, this is it. 64, then we go back to reality. Like Grandma Harrington, I was saying earlier today, it is what it is, right? Going back towards normal and even a little bit above normal as we go out into early next week. But as we head out towards Turkey Day, then the temperatures are going to start to go down. I'll find some optimism, though, out of that here in just a moment. Bottom line, overnight, a warm night, a warm Thursday, turning colder on Friday. That ushers in the cooler weather as we head towards the weekend and a cool Thanksgiving. But yes, I mentioned snow earlier in first weather. We do have a chance of that as we head out towards that Monday, Tuesday time frame. Maybe some snowflakes mixing in with that weather system. But here's the optimism as we head out towards the end of next week, towards Thanksgiving. There could be a weather system in the Midwest with a little bit of snow out there, but I think that weather system is going to stay to the south, and it may not materialize. So there's that optimism there, the forecast. Thanks, Larry, for sending us this vivid sunset picture from 
Middleton, folks. And as I like to mention, just go to channel3000.com slash weather, scroll on down, click the post your own photo button. And that's how one way to get viewer photos. Mm -hmm. And we've got a couple that we'll just talk about here. I think we've got a few here. Can't quite see the name, but it's a very vivid sunset from southern Wisconsin. I don't think we'll be seeing rainbows anytime Probably not soon, soon, Linda. Mm -hmm. Pretty sunrises and sunsets here. What do you think of that? Steam. I don't think we'll be seeing steam from the lake too much longer anymore, but it's still a pretty picture. Isn't that lovely mineral point? Oh, yeah. And look at those colors there. That's gorgeous. Yeah, Bob Ross painting there. Peggy <laughs> from Blue Mounds. We, we, crops are being harvested out uh, to the west of well, all of southern Wisconsin. But again, very nice fall pictures. Thanks, folks, for sending us. As I like to say, I'll report the weather. I'll talk mm -hmm. about the weather. Let's show the weather. Let's show yep. the weather. That's gorgeous. Send in those photos. Yep, oh. send them on in. We'll yeah. see if we can get them on here. Alex, thank you. Thank you. Of course. An Iowa man now holds the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of pencils. And we are talking tens of thousands. Nicole Tam learned where his love for the simple writing tool began. Back in July, Aaron Bartomey invited the community to look at his collection as he counted every single one. It was a lot of work put into um, getting that event together and doing the whole count, so uh, it's really excited. The world record was 24,000 pencils. I knew numbers-wise that I could beat the record. His collection includes everything from local businesses, a 100-year-old pencil, even one with a high school basketball schedule. So he counted everything and submitted the proposal to the Guinness World Records. Three months later, he received this certificate. 69,255 pencils is the new world record. Guinness has pretty strict rules. Um, and so it was it was really exciting when I found out that everything went through and that it, it had been made official. That was awesome. While Aaron's collection rewrote the record books, he says he's already on the hunt for another pencil. And I'm still having a lot of fun with the hobby, so that's not going to change. The childhood hobby that started after a flea market with Grandpa turned into one for the record books. That's a lot of pencils. That is a lot. That's really cool. <laughs> it is cool. Well, coming up next, how loved ones of heart attack victims struggle as well. And then at 5, Wisconsin's Department of Corrections is making some big changes at some of the prisons. We'll find out what. The best doorbusters deals of the year are available now at Ashley. Find clearance and overstock mattresses throughout the store at huge discounts while they last. Sealy clean mattresses as little as $8 a month. Only at Ashley. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine Fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving, but it's nice to be recognized. BMO. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who were by their side where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. It's that time of year again, America. So let's light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. Get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. And make the holidays bright with Ford. Choose FlexBuy on Escape, Explorer, or Bronco with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 FlexBuy and 500 low APR cash. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Find your style with over 300 stock Patriot Lighting interior lights priced under $100. This Dillon 2-pack flush mount is available in three sizes and four finishes. And the 13-inch size is just $14.99 after rebate. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. 
The best doorbusters deals of the year are available now at Ashley. Save as much as 68% store-wide and find clearance and overstock items throughout the store at huge discounts while they last. Plus 72-month special financing only at Ashley. New at 5, Wisconsin's Department of Corrections is making some big changes. News 3 now reveals how these new steps could ensure better safety for both staff and inhabitants. Thursday will be a windy and unseasonably mild day, but a strong cold front Thursday night may bring a shower. It will be followed by much colder weather for Friday. The Thanksgiving holiday will be even colder. At 5, we'll let you know if any snow is in our future. And ahead at 6, new liquor laws are putting wedding barn owners in a squeeze. We examine how these requirements could close down some of these scenic venues. That's tonight at 6. Well, tens of thousands of people suffer cardiac arrest each year. New research highlights that the loved ones of those people can struggle after the event because they are co-survivors. Michael George has one family story. It's been 11 years since Jennifer Chapp saved her husband's life. Rick was 56 when he went into cardiac arrest in their home, and she did CPR until help arrived. I still think about it almost every day. I mean, how can you not? Rick spent 11 days in the hospital. He was recovering and doing, you know, all the things he should be doing. But I was so stressed. I wasn't sleeping. This happened to both of us. We call them co-survivors because they are surviving this event, this traumatic event at the same time. Dr. Sachin Agarwal with Columbia University Irving Medical Center authored new research that shows most caregivers of people who survive cardiac arrest report some psychological distress, such as anxiety, signs of moderate depression, and PTSD. They need to take care of their loved ones, physical, cognitive, psychological, medical needs, their appointments, their medications. So combining all of those with their own sort of psychological distress and the uncertainty that lingers. The study finds access to resources and information can make a difference. The CHAPs are part of HeartSight, a website to help families impacted by cardiac arrest. The couple became basic life support instructors after their experience. I was suffering from, you know, trauma. I should have done it sooner, but I did seek counseling. The counselor helped me understand it from the science standpoint of what happened to me. Jennifer has also taken part in research on co-survivors like herself, so more people can also find support. Michael George, CBS News, New York. About 1,000 people suffer a cardiac arrest every day in the U.S. Researchers say this adds up to more than 2 million people impacted by cardiac arrest from loved ones to first responders. A lot of folks. It's a lot. Too many. Well, are you cooking this Thanksgiving? Be prepared to pay more for that meal. We will get some price predictions from a UW agricultural professor on that and where some bargains may be found. Portage Furniture Store, your forever furniture store. Mr. Aaron Ayers, what does that mean? Welcome back, Emmy. Yes, when we talk about forever furniture, we talk about generation lasting heirloom quality custom furniture. Case in point, we live it every day. My wife and I, we have a chair in our home that my grandfather sold to my wife's grandparents. Generation lasting, third generation lasting furniture. Long, long before you and Jen had met. That's an incredible story. We find love at Portage Furniture. He can promise that right there. <laughs> and still free delivery, amazing service from your crew. We talk about it all the time, the best in the business. Bring it in, set it up for you, move it left, move it right. They are the best. They're going to take care of you. And it looks like the fourth generation, they're just swooping right in. They're making some decisions here, Aaron. They're trying to kick us out the door as quick as they can. They're, they're anxious and they're ready to go. Kenley, are you ready to work in the store someday? Yeah, I was born ready. That a girl. High five. We've all had those moments in businesses where you see the salesperson come at you and you're like, oh man, I haven't even had a second to look. Except that doesn't happen when you come to Portage Furniture. That's right. You know, really, it's a pressure-free environment. Really no pressure at all. Uh, we like our, you know, we like the customers to be able to get a chance to look around, mm -hmm. to, to really sit down on the furniture, to lay down on the mattresses, uh, to really, again, have the no pressure 
atmosphere here at Absolutely. the store. Absolutely. But they also know their stuff. So when you're ready, when you need them, when you have the questions for them, they're going to be here and, and they're ready to go. Yeah, that's right. You know, our staff and our salespeople are very well knowledge and they know they know the product and everything too. So any questions, they're, they're here for you. From, From the, the entire, entire Portage Furniture family, family, I'm Emmy Fink, and, and you're buzzed into Madison. Madison. Nobody wants to think about cold weather, but now's the time to winterproof your home. Is your house cold every winter? Your home needs foam. Are your heating costs too high? Your home needs foam. Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Your home needs foam. USA Premium Foam is over 35% more efficient than ordinary, weaker insulation. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. When dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation might be to blame. Over-the-counter eye drops can provide temporary relief. Zydra can provide lasting relief. It targets inflammation that can cause dry Zydra, eye disease. No! Zydra treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. Don't use if allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort or blurred vision when applied, and unusual taste sensation. Why wait? Ask your doctor about a 90-day prescription and pay as little as zero dollars. <gasps> Zydra. Oh. All right, folks, a little bit slow of a go as you head on 12 eastbound down to 44 miles an hour if you're heading to the east towards Cambridge. And again, we do have that construction going on downtown on the Isthmus, but northbound and southbound on 39. Things are going pretty good right around 75 miles per hour. Swinging on south here to Janesville, things are going pretty good north and southbound 75 to 80 miles per hour on I-39. And we'll go back up to the north and I-90 here up towards the Dells. Pretty good go here at about 80 miles per hour with very nice conditions expected overnight tonight. I think driving weather will be great. All right, Alex, thank you. As the weather gets colder eventually, the Wall of Kindness campaign could make all the difference. Adorned with heavy coats, the mission in Montreal is to make sure any person experiencing homelessness will stay warm this winter. The local nonprofit asked locals to hand out old hand old jackets hang old jackets on hooks to be collected twice a day. The goal is to collect 2,000 coats that can be then passed out to people who need them. Kind of like a Coats for Kids campaign, but just hang them out on the street. That's nice. Yeah. Well, food prices continue to rise, and that's marking, that's making for a more expensive Thanksgiving feast. But there are some bargains to be had. You just need to shop carefully. Joining us now is Andrew Stevens, a UW Assistant Professor of Agriculture and Applied Economics. Thank you for thanks, joining thanks us. Thanks for coming out today. My pleasure. So how are the prices for turkey looking? Well, turkey's the bright spot. Overall, food prices at the grocery store are up about 5% year over year. It's a lot better than last year. Last year, they were up uh, almost 11.5%, if you remember all those inflationary yeah. pressures. Um, but, but turkey is the bright spot because turkeys seem to be uh, way lower in price. That's because last year there was this big bird flu outbreak and right. all of these millions of birds were, were killed before they were brought to mm -hmm. market. And this year that that's not happening. So wholesale prices for frozen turkeys are about 25% lower than they were this time last so, year. And that's just the entree. And there's all <laughs> sorts of other goodies to be had. Absolutely. I, one of my favorites has got to be cranberries since Wisconsin is mm -hmm. the number nation's the, leader. Yeah, number right. one producer. Absolutely. Um, but you look at the rest of the table and uh, uh, some prices are going up more than others. Um, Let's take a look at the the more pricey objects. Sure. Uh, items, that is. Starts with um, fats and oils. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fats, okay. oils, sugars, and sweets. Th this is one of those opportunities where I think your pocketbook is pointing you the same direction as your doctor. You know, it's, it's, okay. it's these, these unhealthy foods are the ones that we're seeing sort of go up in price the most. And those fresh fruits and vegetables, those mm -hmm. those whole grains, we don't see those as inflationary. So uh, I, I sort of think you don't have to think too hard this year to try and make that, um, that holiday waistline not quite as stretched. Do you think prices will go down at all between now and Thanksgiving, or are they just going to probably stay about the same? Well, you know, I, I think grocery stores want you to come shop at their store, and so you're going to see some great deals on those ho holiday staples, um, but I, I don't think there's going to be a huge last-minute push. So uh. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot and look in your, you know, magic, crystal magic ball here, but between Thanksgiving and the next set of holidays, like, what's the, f I mean, I feel like right now we're just opening the door to the whole food party. Yeah, so. absolutely. I think 
we're expecting to see prices sort of slowly rise in an average year prices rise two and a half percent on mm -hmm. food um, but you know I, I wouldn't go stock up on three or four frozen turkeys I would um, I, I, I don't think anything is going to fall out from the bottom does buying in bulk help like a Costco or something certainly uh, buying in bulk helps it, and if you're thinking about those fruits vegetables things mm -hmm. that are more perishable uh, frozen vegetables are, are a great deal um, very fresh um, I, I think they're a better choice than canned if you can if you okay. can swing it. And then eggs. Remember eggs were like, ugh. Oh yeah, like five, ten, fifty dollars a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> but they've come back, they've come back down. Yeah. Well, and, and so the whole story here is the bird flu last year. And so an interesting thing about the way that the, the bird flu affected our food mm -hmm. prices, um, we have different kinds of chicken for chicken meat and for eggs. We've got broilers for the meat and, and layers for the eggs. Okay. And it takes about half the time to grow a broiler from an egg to a chicken. But for a layer to get to the point where she's laying eggs, it mm -hmm. takes about twice as long. So when all of these flocks got knocked out last year, mm -hmm. it took that much longer for all of those egg prices to come back to normal. But we're finally there. And they are normal. I mean, they're selling them for like 88 cents a dozen in some stores. Yeah, I, uh, I, I see the, the shelves stocked and, and I, I'm not having a heart attack every time I look at the price. <laughs> So what do you tell people how, you know, I, it's, it's what, a week and a day until Thanksgiving. So you got to be doing your shopping now or soon. What do you tell people like, okay, it's getting down to the, to the wire here. Here's how, what you can do to save some, some money. I, I would, I would comparison shop if you can, if you've got a couple of mm -hmm. stores that you like, I would take a look at what they're offering. But I'd say the big thing is start defrosting your turkey early because you don't want to be stuck <laughs> on Thanksgiving morning with a frozen turkey. That's true. All right. Long Thank line. you very much. Andrew, thanks for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, the final check of your forecast coming up. If your home or business property has suffered storm damage, go with Ace Exterior Solutions. Ace will work with your insurance company to get you the best results for your damaged roof, siding, or gutters. Call now for a free storm damage inspection from Ace Exterior Solutions. Pick and Save gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Get ready for an improved news experience. The all-new Channel 3000 News app is here. Tailored for your news the way you want it, with a customizable homepage and faster page loads. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. Don't take a chance when it comes to your home or business. Go with Ace Exterior Solutions. Call Ace now and save hundreds with their money-saving fall discounts on roofing and siding. Locally owned, full service, and always guaranteed. Ace Exterior Solutions. New at 5, Wisconsin's Department of Corrections is making some big changes. News 3 now reveals how these new steps could ensure better safety for both staff and residents. Then see how Beloit is making the metro more technology friendly. That's coming up next. The University of Wisconsin system is getting a new name. Why now when it's facing so many other challenges? I'm getting answers from the men in charge. If you look at everything we're doing, it's being driven by our strategic plan. The path to UW's new image, Thursday at 10. All right, folks, a mild overnight and a warm Thursday. It's the last day in the 60s. Then temperatures will, too, will turn colder, cool by the weekend ahead. And a cold Thanksgiving. Heads up there, folks. We can see all of that in the seven-day forecast. When I say cool, I'll be the optimist here. Saturday and Sunday, temperatures around 50. That's still above normal. Even early next week as we get a little weather system in here, a little rain mixed in with some snowflakes. Temperatures then 
close to normal, but as we head towards Turkey Day, that's when we go below normal. Could see some flurries out there, so if you like to get ready for Christmas around the Thanksgiving time, you'll feel a little festive as we head out towards that time. Now, we'd love to see the weather photos anytime. Channel3000.com slash weather. All you got to do is scroll on down on that page and click the post your own button. All we got to do on our end is click the accept and then we'll see if we can get those photos on air. We love to show those photos. All right, Alex, thank you. I, my neighbors all took advantage of the warm weather. All their lights are up. They're not on, but, but they're, they're up. up. Everybody's Smart. getting ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tomorrow on Live at 4, our doctor on call, Zorba Pastor, makes an office visit. And we'll meet a Dodgeville Hotel manager back in 1983 who gets no respect. <laughs> it's our Traveler Throwback Thursday. Anybody that knows me here knows that I'm always focused on the customer first. I want to make sure that we don't have to worry about this door next year, the year after that. <laughs> I'm not an actor at all. Here at Precision, we're here for you. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. At Informed Choice Insurance Agency, we're proud of our five-star reviews. My agent, Matthew, explained everything about Medicare and the needed supplemental insurance. He took the time to show me several different plans and the plus and minuses of each policy. Andrea was amazing. From her knowledge to her presentation to her skills in navigating complicated and intimidating waters. I cannot emphasize enough how much she helped me and my family. Need help with your Medicare or Marketplace health plans? Get five-star service at Informed Choice Insurance Agency. Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. He sent me to. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all-new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month. Free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. It's that time of year again, America. So let's light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. Get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. And make the holidays bright with Ford. Choose FlexBuy on Edge with 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 FlexBuy and 1,000 low APR cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. It's here, Wisconsin's newest and most exclusive sports show. Wisconsin Huddle. It's more than just highlights. It's more than X's and O's. It's a dynamic 30-minute weekly special produced for the die-hard fans of Wisconsin Athletics. Embark on an exclusive journey into the lives of some of UW's top athletes as we offer an inside look into their world. Watch Wisconsin Huddle Friday nights at 6.30. Brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. That's you. In today's final touch, <laughs> Rover.com is out with... Those little naps are nice. Rover.com is out with its report of the most popular and trending pet names for 2023. All right, I got this. And some of them may or may not surprise you. The top male dog names on the list should be familiar ones. Charlie beat out Max as the top most common male dog name for the first time in a decade. Cooper is the third most popular. The top three female names are common ones too, Luna, Bella, and Daisy. As for the number one trending name for male dogs, Kelsey, inspired by Taylor Swift's latest of interest, Travis Kelsey and his brother, Jason. Ken is trending up by <laughs> almost 80%. That makes sense. I know. And for trending female dog names, the U.S. women's national soccer team influenced names like Megan, Rapino, and Dunn. There you go. Trendy See, names. See, not Louie or Ollie. No, no. That's, that's not, okay. That's it's good. It's a different. Not Tate. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's our time for now. Trouble. Thanks for watching. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.